What if the first aircraft detected by enemy radar isn't real at all? Missiles launch, radars lock on, defense systems go live. Millions of dollars are wasted on targets designed to be sacrificed. By the time defenders realize the truth, the real aircraft are already inside their airspace. This is not science fiction, this is modern warfare. This is how Israel uses decoy aircraft to penetrate air defense systems. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're uncovering a strategy that proves modern warfare is no longer just about firepower, it's about deception, timing, and information control. When people think about penetrating advanced air defense systems, they often imagine stealth jets, high-speed missiles, or massive airstrikes. But in reality, one of the most effective tools enters the battlefield long before real aircraft appear decoy aircraft. Israel has refined this concept into an art form. These decoys are not meant to survive, fight, or return home. Their job is far more strategic to confuse radar systems, trigger enemy responses, and expose hidden air defense assets by forcing enemy radars to activate and missile batteries to reveal their positions. Decoys turn the defender's strength into a weakness. This opening section sets the foundation for understanding how air defenses actually work, why they are vulnerable to deception, and how Israel integrates decoys into a broader operational doctrine. Throughout this video, we will move step by step, separating myths from reality and explaining the logic behind one of the most effective tactics in modern aerial warfare. This is not about glorifying conflict, it's about understanding the technology and strategy shaping today's battle space. To understand why decoy aircraft are so effective, we first need to understand how air defense systems operate. Modern air defenses rely heavily on radar networks, command centers, and layered missile systems. These systems are designed to detect, track, and destroy incoming threats as early as possible. However, radar does not see objects visually, it interprets signals. This creates an opportunity for deception. Decoy aircraft are engineered to reflect radar signals that resemble real fighter jets or strike aircraft. When these decoys appear on radar screens, they look convincing enough to trigger defensive reactions. Operators cannot afford to ignore them because doing so risks allowing real aircraft through. Israel exploits this dilemma. By sending decoys ahead of actual missions, defenders are forced to activate their systems, communicate, and sometimes even fire interceptors. Each reaction reveals valuable information, radar frequencies, missile locations, and command structures. This information can then be exploited by electronic warfare units, cyber operations, or follow-up strikes. In essence, decoys turn passive defenses into active targets. This section highlights the fundamental weakness of radar-based systems and explains why deception has become just as important as speed or stealth in modern air warfare. Israel's approach to decoy aircraft is not improvised. It is deeply rooted in decades of operational experience. From earlier regional conflicts to modern high-tech confrontations, Israel has consistently emphasized intelligence-driven operations. Decoys are designed to fit seamlessly into this philosophy. They are often unmanned, pre-programmed, and capable of flying complex routes that mimic real attack profiles. Some are launched from aircraft, while others can be deployed from ground or sea-based platforms. What makes Israel's use unique is integration. Decoys are not deployed alone. They are synchronized with electronic jamming, satellite surveillance, and real-time intelligence feeds. While the decoys draw attention, other systems quietly collect data. This coordinated approach allows decision makers to adapt instantly. If an enemy radar lights up, its position is logged. If missiles are launched, their behavior is studied. The decoy's loss is acceptable because the intelligence gained far outweighs its cost. 
This section emphasizes that decoys are not about trickery alone. They are intelligence tools designed to map and weaken entire defense networks before real aircraft ever cross the border. One of the most misunderstood aspects of decoy aircraft is the idea that they replace real pilots or aircraft. In reality, decoys are enablers, not substitutes. Israel uses them to shape the battlefield before committing valuable assets. When air defenses are overwhelmed by multiple radar contacts, decision-making slows down. Human operators must choose which targets to engage first, often under extreme pressure. This creates chaos. Decoys exploit that chaos. They can simulate formations, altitude changes, and attack angles, forcing defenders to spread their resources thin. At the same time, real aircraft approach from unexpected directions or at different altitudes. The defender is now reacting instead of controlling the situation. This section explains how decoys amplify uncertainty and stress within air defense command structures. Warfare is not just mechanical, it's psychological. By flooding sensors with false threats, Israel forces defenders into costly mistakes. The result is a temporary window of vulnerability, which is often all that is needed for mission success. Another key advantage of decoy aircraft is cost efficiency. Advanced missiles and interceptor systems are extremely expensive. Decoys, by comparison, are relatively low cost. When an air defense system fires a high-value missile at a decoy, the exchange favors the attacker. Israel understands this economic imbalance very well. Over time, repeated decoy use can drain missile stockpiles and force defenders to make difficult choices about when to engage. This section explores how decoys function as economic warfare tools, not just tactical assets. Every interceptor fired at a decoy is one less available for a real threat. Additionally, resupply takes time, creating longer-term vulnerabilities. By combining decoys with precise intelligence, Israel can apply pressure without escalating immediately. This strategy allows for flexible responses and controlled escalation, which is crucial in complex regional environments. Decoy aircraft also play a critical role in suppressing enemy air defenses, commonly known as seed operations. Their primary purpose is to provoke a response. When radar systems activate, they emit signals that can be detected and analyzed. Israel uses this opportunity to identify exact radar locations, operating modes, and vulnerabilities. Once identified, these systems can be neutralized through electronic warfare or precision strikes. This section explains how decoys act as bait. They lure air defenses into revealing themselves. Without this exposure, many systems remain hidden and difficult to target. Decoys essentially force defenders to choose between staying silent and risking penetration or activating systems and becoming visible. This dilemma consistently favors the attacker. Technology alone does not make decoys effective, doctrine does. Israel trains its forces to think in terms of systems, not individual platforms. Decoys are planned alongside intelligence, cyber operations, and real aircraft missions. Timing is everything. A decoy launched too early or too late loses its impact. This section highlights how planning and coordination elevate decoys from simple tools into strategic assets. Real-time data sharing ensures that information gathered by decoys is immediately actionable. This level of integration reflects a broader shift in warfare where speed of information matters more than sheer numbers, public myths often exaggerate decoy capabilities, suggesting invisible aircraft or holograms. The reality is more practical and more impressive. Decoys don't need to be invisible. They need to be believable. Israel focuses on making decoys realistic enough to force engagement. This section debunks common misconceptions and explains why realism, not perfection, is the true objective. Air defenses are designed to respond quickly, not verify visually. That weakness is exactly what decoys exploit. As air defense systems become more advanced, decoys evolve alongside them. Israel continues to invest in adaptive technologies that can respond to changing threats.
artificial intelligence, improved sensors, and networked warfare will shape the next generation of decoys. This section looks at the future, explaining how decoys will remain relevant even as defenses improve. The battle between detection and deception is ongoing, and decoys are a critical part of that contest. In conclusion, Israel's use of decoy aircraft demonstrates a fundamental truth of modern warfare. Winning is not always about destruction. It's about confusion, exposure, and control. Decoys open the door by forcing defenders to reveal themselves. They protect pilots, conserve resources, and shape the battlefield before real combat begins. Understanding this strategy helps us see modern air power not as brute force, but as a carefully orchestrated system of deception and intelligence. If you found this breakdown informative, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into modern military technology. Share this video with anyone interested in defense analysis and let us know in the comments which system you want us to explain next.